Hello. You may have seen over the weekend the updates from the UK government about the Omicron variant of COVID, which has now been upgraded to a variant of concern by the World Health Organization. I would like to reassure Anders that to date we do not have any confirmed cases of Omicron in Jersey and our sequencing of positive PCR test results continues to provide a good level of surveillance for variants in our island. However, we do align our red list countries with the UK's Joint Biosecurity Centre and as a result we've added six countries to our red list on Friday and a further four countries over the weekend which are Angola, Malawi, Mozambique and Zambia. As a result we are mirroring the UK government's approach and asking that anyone who arrived in Jersey before those countries were added to the red list and travel to any of the 10 red list countries after Friday the 12th of November should book a PCR test immediately. This should be followed by a second PCR test five days later, regardless of whether they have already tested negative. Those Islanders asked to call the Coronavirus Helpline on 0800 735 5566 to book their PCR tests. You will be aware of the new PCR test requirement for international arrivals to the UK announced over the weekend. If you're travelling from Jersey and haven't been outside of the common travel area, you will not need to test on arrival. However, the UK will require you to take a PCR test on arrival if you've been outside the CTA, for example in France, within the last 10 days. And it's important to remember that there are also practical steps we can all do to limit our risk and keep those around us safe. Taking regular LFT tests, particularly if you're going out to any form of event, including enjoying a Christmas party or seeing vulnerable relatives, is one of the most important things you can do to protect your friends and family. These tests are quick, free and delivered directly to your door. And finally, competent authorities ministers have been meeting regularly during the last few weeks and are meeting again later today to discuss if any action is needed to respond to the latest developments in the COVID pandemic. We will be updating Islanders as soon as possible on any changes to our current position. But thank you for listening.